Hey, lovely viewers out there. Once again, you're watching Ross TV, the number one and the ultimate social media entertainment talk show in Northern Ghana. Take it or you leave it. If you don't claim the title, no one give it to you. I want to thank our lovely viewers out there for always making time to watch our videos. We really, really appreciate all these things. Um, today I have with you one of the great vocalists and sensational singers we have here in Northern Ghana. Believe me, if you're listening to him, you know I will tell you that he's made of, he's just music himself. His delivery, the style, and his microphone control is one thing that amazes me. He's none but one naira. Today I'm going to be hanging out with him. So we talk about his new song. He has a new song that's titled Ashao. I want us to talk about it and as well go into one naira as an artist so that you have a feel of what he's really made of. One era. Yo. Um, the last time I was watching a particular video, um, Jakun Kunja, mm. um, Nando's featuring One Naira. Yes, yes. And in that video, it seems you know that time One Naira was a bit slim, and you know, this time One Naira is put on weight. What does it say? Uh, maybe the food that they chop, you know, uh, maybe you know, as we are growing, you know, maybe I don't know. I don't really know what's up, but at least maybe as we are adding on age, we are adding on weight, something like that. I think I have to ask your manager to do the AC. <laughs> yeah, you know, anytime you mention one Naira, mm. the first thing people ask is, is he a Nigerian? Mm. So I want you to tell me, what's your nationality? Uh, I'm both. I'm both Nigerian and Ghanaian, you know. Uh, my, my mother is a Ghanaian, my, my father is a Nigerian. So I'm of dual nationality. So, yeah. But I was born in Nigeria, though. I came to, before I came to Ghana. Yeah, at a very early stage of my career, of my life, sorry. I wasn't an artist by then, so I came to uh, Ghana at an early stage, you know. My, my parents moved and all that, and finally we're here. So for how long do you stay in Nigeria? Uh, I've been in Nigeria. I came to Ghana in 2008. Yes, I came with my parents to Ghana in 2008, yes. So you came purposely to Ghana for schooling, or yeah, it was schooling? I wasn't even intending to do music or anything like that. I just came for school and all that. And uh, uh, when I came, then you know, from school, the whole thing started in school. I met this friend, and he was like, I didn't know I was part of the choir and all that. And he was like, Oh, you know, you can do something. So we hit the studio. I can remember, and you know, things just moved on from there. You know, people were just liking the thing and all that. So I just continued from there. Luckily for me, Oja, uh, DJ Oja, you know, f found me during school, during when I was in school and all that. So, yeah, so it just happened from there. Yeah. So, at which point in your life do you feel like, oh, this time I can write my own song, go to the studio and record? That's what I'm saying. I didn't even know I could write my own song. It was people that had to tell me that, oh. Being in school and the reactions you get from your colleagues and then mm. so how did you actually meet DJ Oja? I just want to know how did you meet uh, him? Well it was true the guys I never knew DJ Oja it was true the guys they came to record at DJ Oja's place through my schoolmates they came to record at DJ Oja's place and so when they doing their recording they, they found DJ Oja just heard me I was like wow you know, we got to talking, he listened to me and like, wow, I think you can do something. I think you have a, an, an amazing vibe. You know, let's, we can work, we can, you know, that blah, 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 and all that. So, yeah, I never knew DJ Oja. It was true, the guys that brought me to record for them. You understand? They brought me to record a song for them and to, I met DJ Oja from there. And so DJ Oja just, the rest is history, you know, so we just... So you, mean you picked it from the studio and from there you started? Yes, we just started working with, we just started working, you know. So I was in school and I was recording. I remember I, have, I even had a hit track in school at that time, you know, it was... It what was, was the title of that song? I can't remember again. It was switching at school and I think it's Baby or something like that. And it was really raving. Sometimes I'm, I'll be passing by and I'll hear people playing it like, you know. So and at that point, at that time, so that's when I started feeling, having the taste of what, you know, artists feels like you know understand so doing that that's when i really knew that okay i could really take this as something this could really be something uh, big for me you know that was when i started to realize that this could be something major for me something like that yeah. so the first time maybe your relative or your family heard about 
why not going to me? What was the, the response you had from me? Is that, you know, because it was, I think it was my parents, my, my mother who first heard me. Well, she was surprised because she first heard me on the radio, you understand? She didn't believe that I was the one. So she came home and she called me. I was like, are you the one? I'm because my parents were not, they were not really that, you know, into that music. They have this very strict, you know, people. And so they are all on school. I was in school at that time. So they didn't know that I was doing anything apart from schooling. So how did this guy get on the radio? I was really driving on the radio at that time. I was in SS and I was like becoming major. By the time I was in final year, I was major. You know, one I was really, you know, getting because SKY was the biggest artist and SQI was was always every song SQI featured at that time I was always on it you know so like I was big ups to SQI the Tamil boy for putting me on you know it was really something a very selfless act from him but like I was saying at that time I was really really made because I was already on radio my mother was like she called me home that day. I was like yo what's going on I heard you on radio and like where from I don't understand what's going on I mean I don't know you to do a musician and all that that's like oh yeah I just you know it was something I was doing for fun and all that. My mom was like, no, this is not fun. I mean, listen to you. I mean, I think you are really good and all that. I mean, blah, blah, blah. So it just happened to pick up from there. And, uh, you know, yeah. So I think it was my mother. She was the first person to hear me. I was like shocked and surprised. Wow. Um, which song would you describe as your biggest break? Because the first time I heard one Nara, I think I, I heard um, Inshallah, yeah, so one Nara featuring Cover Stone. That was what I heard, yeah. and I was like, no, we're having a different feeling now in the industry. Someone is coming with a different vibe. Yeah. So I think Inshallah was my biggest, like, was my that, that, that big breakthrough track for me. It was what what really made people really start to like, yo. I think this guy is, 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 is ready for this. This guy is, is out for business, you know. So uh, it was Ishala that really, you know, exposed me. I built that. That's what really made, you know, started raving, raising the banner. How did you get Carl Stone on that track? Was it difficult? It wasn't difficult, right? Because, you know, I, I already laid the groundwork, you know. He really, he already knew me, like I was saying. Even though I, I, I had not released that major, but I had released some collaborations that were really raving, like Jakun Kuja, them, you know, uh, the other one, you know, Your Size and all that. A lot of other tracks that were raving, but not, not mine. So he already knew who I was. When I approached him, I was like, wow, okay, I would love to work with you. He even sent me a text after he heard the song, like, wow, like, this is, I'm really happy to do this. This is not like, another collaboration for me this is something i want to do like congrats and all that so yeah it wasn't really that difficult because he he already like loved what i was doing he really appreciated uh, the talent and all that boss family is it a core label or was it it's a squad it's a crew it's a it's a, it's a union it's, it's whatever you want to call it you know it's it's a family it's a movement you know boss family is you is me is every all of us all of us that want to make anybody that wants to see and, you know, Dreamtime artists, SKY, WT, Rough Guy, Wanda, anybody that wants to see us make headway, you know, it's a boss family member, you understand? We're having branches, Accra and Kumasi, where, 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 you know, people, yes, yes, we have br uh, branches uh, everywhere. So you could see somebody call him, say, oh, I'm a boss family member, and you'll be surprised, but yeah. Yes. Um, in Tamil, I know of one strong fan, Mankind. Yes, yeah, Mankind is another very, very strong boss family member. Yeah, big up to yeah, big ups to Mankind. He has been really supporting. Not today, he has been supporting for we. Everything we do, Mankind is always make sure that he's. Yeah, I, mean, I call him boss family. I don't call him Mankind. Yeah, I, 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 I always tell anytime. So anytime he just texts me or calls me, I, 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 I immediately because Mankind is one of the you know strongest boss family members you would find around. Yeah, so big ups to Mankind. Yeah. Um, one I want to know is like most of SKY's tracks, you are on it. I don't know what's what's the, the the connection between you and SKY. Uh, it just like this, uh, just a vibe between me and him, you know. You know, we have this specific connection. You know, whenever we are, I'm on a track with SKY, like there's this link up, this vibe, you know, between us and all that. So it makes it all easy. You, you get, you get. Like I don't know, we just somehow we understand each other. We have this telepathic connection when we're on a track you know we can always detail, uh, uh, detect what each other wants to hear you know so it just makes you know the song easy so so most of that's why i like mostly uh, uh, on, on my songs here yeah. wow this is great um when i uh, you are referred to many as the jj hitmaker mm. i don't know why the people of tamale call you by that 
Yeah, because of the JJ, because you know JJ became at that time JJ became one of my biggest hits. So, you know, after the JJ, after that song, I did an interview, and I called myself the JJ Hitmaker. And since then, the name just stuck with me. Yeah, I think eight, two days, two three days after the song dropped, you know, I did an interview. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember, but I did an interview, and I announced myself as the JJ Hitmaker. And Galam too was uh, said it, called me the JJ Hitmaker. And so from there, it just stuck with me, and it, ha it has always been my name since then. So why and how do we discover your journey? My journey? My journey of music. That's the problem, you know. I think sometime last week, a DJ called me. He was like, uh, now nah, it's very difficult. I'm trying to play a bit for you, but I don't know what you do because it's like you are, you are always yeah, touching on everything, you know. Because I, I don't know if you meet this artist, you know, okay, this is, 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 is let me play a different level. But with you, it's like you can do everything. Like, so I don't even know what to do for you. So that is just who I am. You know, I'm an artist. Bring it any other kind of music, be it whatever. You know, that's why we are called musicians. You understand? We are there to evolve. Once you keep, if, if you stay in one, your one, in one lane, believe you me you will not uh, find it easy you understand you have to always evolve you have to always be transcending you need to keep up with the currency and all, all that so if it's dance or that is trending you have to be on the dance or track if you whatever it is so i'm universal when it comes to making music everybody can testify because one or any time she drops it you know you understand i know he's made of music um i want us to make a quick comparison if one era was in nigeria by now would you be making waves like that? I would hope so, but you know, man is not God. You cannot, you can't tell. I mean, there are people in Nigeria that maybe might not even have the, the, the chance I have here. But we definitely make it to Nigeria. There's no two ways about that. That is the ultimate plan, you know, to make, to break through the Nigerian market. Because a lot of people say that no, one arrest talent is just beyond Tamale and then Ghana. So he should just move to Nigeria where he is. Continue. No, that, that is the ultimate plan. That is what, that's the end, end game. Let me put it like that. How are we going to break through? Being, being so, uh, we, are, we, are, we tried the MTN Hitmaker once, but, but there are so many uh, around it, so we, left, so we left on a bad note. So we are still going to try the Vodafone Icons this year too again. You know, it's a, it's a good platform to try. Uh, Stoneboy featured me on a song which he said, which he said he's going to release. Stoneboy. Uh, yes, Stoneboy, which is going to, he said, he, 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 he said he's going to release very soon. So, and, and some other, other small, small things that I haven't f bought fruits that I can't even mention. You know, so we are hoping to build on all these small, small things, you know, and, and with the hope that, you know, once people start listening to us, you know, it will help propel us, you know, to, the, to where we want to be. It's because I know that once we break through Accra, it will be easier for me to break through into Nigeria. That's fantastic. And um, one uh, some time ago, I learned um, Samini was having plans on signing you on to high grade. Yes. What happened to that deal? What happened? Uh, what happened was that we wouldn't come, we couldn't come into, uh, uh, this, uh, what's it called? We couldn't come into, uh, was it agreements? Yes, let me, yes, we, we, we couldn't really come into an agreement and all that. It was just, uh, we we're, were not able to get into an agreement. That was just the only problem. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, it was supposed to happen, but let me just say, like, we're not really on the same lane when it comes to what we all wanted from from the deal. So that, that didn't make the deal fall through. Um, when Wan Naira went to Hitmaker, I think a lot of people were like, no, Wan Naira is bigger than this platform. Yeah. You shouldn't have gone for Hitmaker. But what was the motivation that drove you there? The motivation is that I just wanted the exposure. It wasn't about the money or the car or whatever. It was just about the exposure. I was trying to use it as, you know, uh, some sort of promotion to, yes, you know, to, to step into to promote, pro, to propagate what I can do to, you know, to the people. I was just, that was just my plan. I was thinking uh, sometimes you might not want it, but here you are, you know. So if this is, yes, so let's just use this as an opportunity. Same thing I'm doing with Vodafone Icon. You know, I'm just trying to use it as an opportunity to, you know, propel myself. Then, you know, you, you don't know who is listening. So, yeah, that's just... One, uh, what happened at uh, Hitmaker? Would you describe it as your worst moments in your career? Yeah, I think so. I mean, especially during the, when they had to tell me that, you know, they won't, they won't let me through and all that. I think I've, it's been a while I felt really, really 
you know, really, really bad. Like it really hit me hard. Like you know, it was some sort of reality check to me. It was, it was, it was a tough moment for me you know, because I, I looking at on the table. I'm not trying to brag or something, but like, come on, you know. Like I, I was, I was amazed when I heard. I was like, how, you know. But you know, life is just what it is. You know, maybe because maybe if I was at the heat maker, I might not have win. I might not have made any breakthrough through it. But when I came back in less than a week or two, that's when I met Stone Boy and we did the track. You understand? Maybe if I was there, crowd. Maybe I wouldn't have had the chance to do that. So I would be there chasing at the end. I won't even get what I want. So. One other, I want you to take us through from the auditions to the time you were evicted. I, I don't know what, what actually went into it. Uh, okay, the auditions were done in Kumasi, and uh, after the Kumasi audition, we went to Accra. So I was doing there. I mean, oh, and anytime I remember that, I just because it was so time consuming, so tiring, so oh, you know, oh, come, uh, you know, it, it was just a proper waste of my of our time you know it was just so you know uh, but all that so at the end of the day they were like you know um uh, we, are not, we are already made artists we are looking for teacher but i mean some lousy as you know baseless comments and all that because everybody knew even the contestants that were there they're like yo charlie we know that it's minus one you know i mean i mean there was nothing everything i did i was I went prepared, let me put it like that. I went really prepared, ready to deliver, you know. I went ready to give out my best and I just, I guess they just, they had other plans, so. Yeah, you know, sometimes it, it hurts me badly, you know. When we, when we discredit things of this nature mm. and say things about it, they say enough, we are violent. But you know, we are trying to make things clear. Mm -hmm. This thing was just point, like, it, it was just clear that they didn't just like you because I don't know. Mm. Something like that. Maybe they felt like maybe, or maybe if this guy was to be part of the guy, thing, yeah, you, you know, know, because you know, and all that. So even people were telling me that, oh, like, that's what I wanted. So it was just, uh, or even easy that day, uh, easy. Yeah, yeah. Easy came with one of her friends. So after the audition, that friend of hers called me aside and was like, yo, don't let this thing. We all know what's happening, but just chin up and all that. So just put it behind you. Don't let it derail you. You are really, really good. I, we all love you. Just that, you know. Don't let it, you know. She was just trying to say something to me, but without saying, because without implicating herself or her friend and all that too. So I just okay. I just took it with. I mean, even the cameraman, everybody was like, you know, every the cameraman was looking at Charlie. You are really. I mean, why not? I, I, I want you to. I want to drag you some. I want you to give me the. the I want you to sing the, the verse you did there. The last, the, 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 was it was it the second day or was it which, which day was that? I want you to give me what you you did. The final day. Mm -hmm. it is, uh, mm -hmm. The final day. Uh -huh. It's like you composed your own. Yes, I. Uh, mm, see, I don't the street tire. I don't sing. I don't sing. Sing tire. Robbie say I no good. I sabi cook. Music be what me I can do. Oh, but I know they eat. For many years, studio that way I be. Oh no, that's why I come here to compete. For it make a man me, I want to be no oh, oh. Mr. Richie, you know Many men are called, but few men are chosen And myself, I know If then they call one man, it be me, them go choose, yeah Cause I do my homework I know they sleep every day, steady writing good songs Tamale boy, we happy But the dream so you get is bigger than it was, yeah So when I go blow when I go blow, blow, blow. When them go hear my name, oh. When I go blow, blow, blow. When you go hear my name, oh. When I go blow, blow, blow. You need to make a why. You see, sometimes I feel like if you spend a million dollars in one night, you're not making a loss. Trust me. So now, um, the entertainment. Because I, sometime ago, I was listening to DHL and he said that you were evicted because they said you were already in the court label and stuff like that. And Nashidi was saying that that wasn't the reason why you, you left. And today you have cleared it because the, what, what they said, I didn't even understand what they, were, what they were trying to put across. Because you are supposed to give a yes. And you know, and, and, you know, and they, 
no, it was nothing like that. So, like I'm saying, even when I went to Accra, Tommy Flex was asking me the same thing. They said yes and no. No, no. What did they say? I said they didn't tell me anything. It just, okay. I mean. Uh, but with or without hit maker, one naira is our star. No, everywhere we go, we can boost up people like one naira. So now, what's the plan? I'm um, the entertainment. We are in 2020. You just you just released a song, Ashao. One naira, fine guy like this. You will go for gift, Ashao. I know they understand. <laughs> no, it's just you know, music is creativity. It was just me being creative, you know, understand. Yeah, so my mind works like a machine. Like I always love to create scenarios, you know, that people can relate to. You understand? So it was just all a creation of my mind, like creating something, a scenario and all that. So yeah. So the Ashawa song was just basically my creation. Like me thinking about okay, what if, if something like this happened? Because it happens a lot. Yeah. You don't know, but I'm telling you, a lot of guys really, you know, you know, you meet a girl, you don't want to fall for her, but you end up falling for her due to only one or two things that she does for you and all that. So yeah, it was just a, a familiar scenario that I just okay, like I can put into music and one, I want us to look at uh, mainstream and acceptance. Have you really gotten that? I have, but I have not gotten to where I want. I have not gotten to that, 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 that peak where I want to really hit. I've not gotten to that point where I am. But this 2020, I can see a lot happening, changing. You know, if you are following me, you see that I've been dropping songs, collaborations back to back. You know, uh, I don't even know what my even my songs like this. This is just the first one with Fadlan. Next than two weeks, we are dropping another one too with uh, Wish Child. Then after that, we are dropping my, my collaboration, one of my sounding collaborations. So this year, we are, we are just really pushing for top spots this this year. And hoping, whilst waiting and hoping so that by the time the collaboration with Stoneboy drops, I'll be ready to grab the opportunity that will come out with both of Because big ups to Stoneboy so much for giving me the opportunity because he made me... He really made me do so much on the song, you know, just to expose my talent and all that. So I want to say big up to Stoneboy for, 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 for such an opportunity. I mean, it's not easy. So 2020, the plan is that one hour drops some of these collaborations. Yes. So are we expecting a concert or an yes, album yes, launch? Yes, yes. Well, most definitely. A concert will come. An album launch would come this year, before the middle of, this, of the year. An album launch will be coming up. So you guys should expect an album launch, a big one. A very big one. So that's why we are working. We started the work already. Uh, you, also, you can tell how how big Ashawu has done. I mean, and even the one with which Shao will do bigger than Ashawu because we are going to, you know, step. We are going to put. We are going to step on the truth of everybody. Like we are not going to like relax or maybe do one. And we are going to be giving it back to back. You know, so that by the time the collaboration and others with Stoneboy drops and other things start to, you know, other pieces of the jigsaw start to fall in place, we are ready. I want to be ready to grab the opportunity because I know that once this song drop is going to it's going to open a lot of doors for me because I mean I think that song is one of the best best deliveries I've given in like in a while. I mean the song was I don't know what really entered me that day but I was really Where do you record the song? Uh, okay, he came with his engineer Street Beat. I don't know if you know him. He's the one who played uh, Bawasaba. He played Bas Bawasaba, he played uh, a lot of Stone Boys hit tracks and all that. He played Kokoko and all that. Yeah, so... So, you rec where did you record it? You recorded it? In his, uh, in his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his hotel. In his hotel. In his hotel. He came with, they came with everything. They came with the, with the whole studio. With yes. Everything. When they came for the Stone Boy uh, uh, the beam, concert. beam concert, yes. So they came with all the equipment. Yes, the, so everything was there. So we just recorded everything in there in his uh, hotel room so everything was done it's fantastic. i can't wait to listen to this song you know it's, it's a song and a half i mean it's one of the best songs i've recorded in a while like i, don't, I was really in the, in the in the zone that day i was really in the zone so when i'm one other who is your favorite presenter uh i haven't really thought about it i haven't really given it much thought i would have ah, to think about it ah. What actually came into your mind to record a nice tune for Digital? For Digital, well, he, well, honestly, what what happened was that it was a I did a jingle for him. You know, after I did a jingle for him, he was like, "Oh, let's see if I even did a song for him." So he would like if I do a, a similar song of that similar, you know, something like that. So, and I did it. It's not as if maybe I just did it. 
Yeah, but he, oh, he, that the second one, what I did for him was a jingle. I did, I did a jingle. I was like, okay, if you do something like this, it would also be nice and all that. I was like, cool. I'm open, I'm free. I'm, I'm, you know, so you wanna, I've searched for the song. I don't even know where to get it. I, I mean, I don't, you don't even know. I don't even know like where he's, he's just the only one who plays it on his drive time. And I don't even have it anymore, you know. Wow. Uh, yeah, I love having them. My big ups to him. He's, he's also one of the guys that you know. Yeah, you know, DJ that is one person who has inspired me. You know, the Adugale movement. Yeah. So, one era, looking at them, um, right from boss family. So now you guys are not close at first. So like, how is the bond now between yourself, SKY, WT? Uh, the bond is still strong. Like I'm saying, you know, we all the problem. Like we all. You know, like I said, boss family is a movement, and in that movement, we all have our managers and all that. So you know, sometimes you know there are different plans. So after we all got different management, you know, it, it really changed a lot because of the plans are now different. You know, we're we're no more in sync with each other like we used to be because you know first we're doing everything as a team, but since we got different managers, you know, you know everybody and the way he wants to plan his plan and all that. So. So that's what really happened, but it was, it's not as if maybe we, don't, we are not still, we're still stronger and that as ever. A blood proof. I love the song. Anytime you're on stage and you perform the song, the response, the fans, you, you get from the fans, you tell them, no, this is a very great song. So who called for the remix? Gallam uh, called for the remix. He was like, no, no, we need to. I love the song so much, you know, it's a good song, it's a good vibe. I just feel like, you know, I, I have something to say. In, con in connection with the song so let's let me put a verse on it i was like cool i mean it's music it doesn't matter it doesn't it's all good you know so i, I said okay then we went to the studio did the remix and that was just it yeah. but you know even though you know i like fancy adam but you, the one you did with sunny was just mad yeah you know every i'm saying everybody like and what he what some he likes. yes like some people like the remix some people like the main you understand so it's just you just have, you just have to do with you know what what you're feeling or what kind of way you, the music is hitting you you understand hey, so if it, the music is hitting you like okay this this sunny one is hitting me different you would love that one more or if it's got vibe or like you feel like oh the way got vibe to it like it's hitting you more you know you lean towards that so it all, it all has to do with what you prefer what you like you understand <laughs> something like that when i sometimes when i listen to you i feel like your lyrics are very deep like where do you get the inspiration yeah i'm inspired by a lot of things you know so many things inspire me you know so many things touch me you know i'm like i'm saying it's all about the feeling how i'm feeling like what, what's on my mind on that particular time you know that's just what, what moves me uh -huh. so if I'm, I'm moved by what i'm feeling so sometimes i can be there i can watch a movie and like I, it just hits me different and I, in a way I can relate to it and like you know, I can use it to you know you know make my own music sometimes I can hear somebody say something like it hits me and, and I, somehow I'll be able to translate it into music so that's how I work you know I'm somebody that can you know I relate with my music you know like my surroundings everything around me yeah into real life situation you, 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 your 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 band is trust umpire gangzu. A lot of people are like one era doesn't really understand Dagbani that much. How are you with write those songs? It takes time and a lot of work. Honestly, it really it, it's really strenuous work. If you see me writing those Dagbani songs, you'll be surprised. It takes a lot of time. Yes, because I have to really pick it word for word. You know, you know, lyrics for lyrics, word for word. It's it's really cumbersome. It's not something I do. It is. Yeah. So one other fan, I wanted to speak to the Nairans. You know, this time around, you know, we are out. Yes. You know, we are going to blow the industry. Of course. Oh. So I just want to say big ups. Thank you to every Nairan supporting the movement. You know, you guys have been holding me down since since the day day, you know, be today. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for supporting me, for being there for me. You know, for holding me down, for supporting everything I do. I mean, for how many years now? Still. You know, yeah, you are still kicking, you are still vibing. We just we dropped a shower. You guys just hugged the thing and you took it as your own. And I mean, you made it such a big uh, hit song and all that. So just expect more. One hour wish chat is uh, is next on the block. You know, so just keep your fingers crossed. Don't slow. We are moving. We are we are pushing for 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 for, for top spot.
you know we are not going to slow down this year you know we are just pushing for top spot i want to be the biggest export from northern region by the end before this year goes because like i'm saying there are certain things that i'm looking towards so what i want to do is that before they as they are as i'm waiting for them to happen i want to be ready i want to be ready to grab that opportunity when it comes you understand so we are pushing for top spot this year so anybody in my way you know um, there's nothing that can stop me this year i should become i should be the number one then your, your go-to guy when you step into northern region so that is the plan for the year one i you know i love this song double chief uh, double t featured you on that was zoo blazo mm. he said who be you i, I just wanted to give you that line i love i, I, I love oh but look you said you said um was it uh you know bath today you think it's cool you get small money you start the food like like i just love it but i don't know oh one night like try and remember i can't remember i'm telling you, i can't if the song cry i'm only trying to remember the song oh it's been a while you know we've recorded so many so, you know so i can't even remember zobla i've heard zobla or something but i can't remember remember i can't even remember the lyrics cry wow, it's been wow. a long, long time. i love the song i love the song wow. you know though he did justice to his rap and then one other came in and killed the death mm. so, yeah, I can't even remember the, the, the song again. Okay. One at this time, we need to hear something new. You know, yeah. Asha is out, but mm-hmm. we just need, need to have, we want to get a new flavor, mm-hmm. something that we've not heard. Mm. <coughs> Let me see, what have you not heard? If them tell me, say one day I go fall in love, and if them tell me, say one day you go make I follow, like I no go believe. I go talk, say you the dream, oh, but you make a believe, oh. Say true love, it be real, oh. Only your key fee open my door. All my block money, me, then you go chop. See my property, carigo. All my property, your name, oh. See my property, carigo. All my property, your name, oh. Hey, oh. I don't find my woman, oh, hey, oh, oh, I don't see my woman, oh, hey, oh, chineke mo, I don't find my woman, oh, oh, I don't my perfect woman, oh. Huh. Wow, 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 you know, I s- always I say that, look, when you come to the north, the talents are there, you pack them and be tied. One naira is a pure talent. The only thing we the fans need to do, look when he drops a song, let's try, share it. We should go to their YouTube channel and watch their videos, share the song, and just avoid putting their stuff on WhatsApp. It loses the quality. They don't get much from it. So if you put it on WhatsApp, that, that ends it. It loses quality and whoever sees it anywhere wouldn't appreciate their work. And they are putting too much effort in their craft. Someone like one era, believe me, if you want to spend all your money him, trust me, you are going to get it back. He's, he's just music. I tell it always that his music, if you want to count singers in Northern Ghana, you can't omit his name. He's going to be part of it. So let's try as much as possible. Once again, my name is Hakim. And thanks so much, Juan. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, so always whenever you, you know, call on me, I always make sure I'm there to also give my own part share of the whole story. So. Man, are you too humble? Well, I, I am. I am because, you know, you have to be after all. What, 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 what's there to lose? What's there to gain being uh, pompous and all that? You know, humility, you know, uh, leads the way. You know? So, yes, you need to be humble. You need to, you know, know that it's a, life is a process. At the end of the day, we're all going to go back to the way we came. So, there's no need to be pompous and proud. You know, so. yeah, well, see if I can say you will be coming on Tuesday. Welcome, oh, uh, we, we are self like We have a, a very deep, deep story to tell. He, he was also there at the MTA Hitmaker. Yeah. We met. You see how God works. Yeah. We went after. We were, there, we were there together during the Kumasi audition, and he, he didn't make it through. Yeah. Yeah, we, he went to the Accra. I went to the Accra. And he came back and went to the mentor, yeah. the mentor, and I was in Accra there chasing, you know. Yeah. The, the the empty hit maker and all that so you see how so yeah, God works you know serious serious serious. so that's just what i can see you know life is it's a whole different thing you that's cannot good. judge you cannot judge how it will all turn out tomorrow but all we can do is we should keep on pushing and never give up that's all yes to all our our, our industry players out there let's support our guys they are doing great my name is ras hakim and once again you're watching us you try as much as possible when you see our video share it and also subscribe to our youtube channel